again 99.9 .9, you never want that to peaked out at 99.9 .9, so hit the minus so signal drops off there it is there it is now if that bar graph turns blue or green I'm gonna go back to my peak and all because it is easier to do it that way just visually faster but this isn't bad as you can see and you'll notice that too sometimes it'll fluctuate between red and blue or green just on its own there's some locations where the signal cleans up for a second or two but and now it's completely clean so in this case you could probably be safe to use your arrows because they're really easy and here we go again here's the street light somebody else's marks confirm that that's where the lines run in okay and that's that um, let's go ahead and use a, a different screen here so you guys can see how the offset works in this location so here I'm in my offset screen going off to the left remember the pipe is actually over there I don't know if you can see those red dots but my in my offset mode let's pretend that that was in the middle of a busy street you didn't want to be locating out there in traffic you can actually locate that line off to the side or let's say there's parked cars there this is a parking lot so if there was a parked car there you couldn't get to that line you can use this um, offset to still locate the line it's telling me that it's five feet seven uh, inches that way and three feet down okay the next screen here is that easy mode screen I was telling you guys about in the first video so here we are on top of the line okay you just line up that line that colorful line on the solid line in the middle hopefully hopefully you guys can see that okay and it doesn't matter which way you hold the locator in the screen okay the other nice thing about this particular screen is it's auto gain meaning you don't have to mess with the uh, sensitivity like you do in that classic screen okay so for a lot of new guys this is uh, a nice screen for them because uh, it just takes a lot of the guesswork and learning curve out of how, you know out of using the unit again just want to highlight that offset mode again which is really one of the greatest things on any locator out on the market right now there's nothing else like it so here we go it's telling me that the line is four feet four that way hopefully you guys could see that three foot seven I'm gonna turn the volume down here we go I mean this screen this is the offset screen still remember it's mainly for when you have situations where you can't be on top of the line for whatever reason but you can also locate the line if you wanted to in this screen if you're comfortable with it okay I'll show you uh, the classic screen again so here we are going down I want to show you guys something else so remember how on the way towards uh, when I was facing the other way I had to turn up the gain to get the signal again I want you guys to notice what happens when I'm walking back towards the uh, source towards my transmitter so I'm gonna go this way hopefully you can see the screen So this is the uh, second point, okay. So you notice how my bar graph is almost, well now it's peaking out. That's because it, as we get closer to my transmitter, which is over there, the signal's getting stronger. So in this case, you'd have to lower your gain. Whereas when you're walking away from the source, you have to raise your gain. So in either case, you never want 99.9. .9. I'm gonna lower my gain, okay and trace the line this way I don't know if 
if I mentioned this in the last video. I think I did, but in case I didn't, this is your compass. Okay, it tells you which direction the line is running. So the pipe, or the cable in this case, is going this way. Okay, that's all that is. When it turns blue, um, that means that you're in line with the pipe. Okay, so that means you're holding the locator parallel to the line. So it'll turn white if you're not exactly in line with it. A lot of guys think that that means that you're on top of the pipe when it turns blue. It just means you're in line with it. So I'm going to get off of the line here and I'm going to make it in line and it still turned blue as you can see. But I'm not on top of the pipe. I'm just in line with it. So always keep that in mind if you're using the V-Lock 3 Pro or uh, I'm not sure if the 5000 changes colors like that with the arrow. I didn't notice. Um, I don't think it does. I think it's just the V-Lock 3 Pro. So that's pretty much it. That's how you locate a line using induction, especially street lights. That you're going to find yourself probably using induction most of the time with street lights. Alright. Thanks for watching.